Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Terraform Cloud Stuff. And uh, got a short little fun thing that uh, you might want to check out. So I logged into uh, Terraform Cloud and I went to my workspace. And I recently ran um, a new update of my security group and uh, to create this, this little web server. And I wanted to show you what I was doing from Git. So from VS Code, um, I made a change to this echo command just as a test and um, a couple other things. And I committed my change and pushed it. And I actually used Terraform Cloud to automatically plan and apply so long as the plan doesn't encounter any errors, um, which is kind of cool. It's the very beginning of starting to do some automation uh, pipeline stuff. Um, it's not a pipeline, right? It's just a little trigger. But um, anyway, I uh, figured I'd just show you this real quick. So uh, under settings in your in your workspace, and, and if you click on general, you'll see the execution. Um, I have set to remote, so the plans occur on the Terraform cloud infrastructure, uh, whereas before I was running it on my local machine. And then um, I can review and collaborate on runs with other people uh, within the UI. And then there's a supply method. So by default, there's a manual apply, and you have to actually confirm the results um, before you actually apply them. Or there's an auto apply. So auto apply is changes when a Terraform plan is successful. They have no changes, they're not applied. If a workspace is linked to version control, a push to the default branch is linked to a repository, will trigger a plan and apply. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So if I go back to my overview, you can see um, in my main branch, I'm just pushing straight to main right now. This is just a demo. We'll get into more complicated stuff and branching later, but um, I just did a change security group name. So what if I update my echo command? So in theory, what that would do is it wouldn't change anything in my security group, but it would have to change my instance. And because of the way we have things set up, it's going to actually delete this instance and create a new one. So if I say hello world from hostname, it's great to meet you. Something like that. Something simple, very small change, right? So um, I've already got this added, but we'll go ahead and get commit. And I'll just put like a change echo. And then we'll push this. I want you to see how fast this goes. So I push this to my main branch and we're back in Terraform Cloud. And what it's going to do is it's going to immediately be able to tell that there was a change to my repo and start the Terraform plan automatically. So I don't need to run Terraform plan from my command line. Um, once this plan finishes successfully, if it's successful, it'll go ahead and run a Terraform apply as well. If there's nothing to apply, then it won't do anything. So let's go ahead and take a look at the details by clicking on see details. And we can see the fan, the plan actually just finished and it's starting to run and apply. So it says one to add, zero to change, one to destroy. So take a look and it's going to destroy this instance and then it's going to create a new one. So it's deleting this instance now. I don't know if I still have this up for you to be able to see if I'm still logged in. Yeah, I still am. So here is my AWS console. And I can see my instance is shutting down. It, and I should see this is uh, no longer working because it's shut down. Yep, it's starting to time out. And then we just sit and wait. So it, it, uh, it'll give you a couple little details like how long it usually takes, um, you know, stuff like that. If you go to the overview, I can see, well, on the average plans, less than a minute. The average apply is about a minute. Um, I did some testing with some things. I've got four total failed runs. And then there's some things if you upgrade, you have access to like estimated cost change, um, some policy checks, things like that. Um, and then these are the resources that it, this um, particular workspace is going to 
going to manage and these are the outputs that I'm going to get and these will all change as well uh, which is a nice place for you to be able to go find things so let me go back to details and we'll check on the status of our of our uh, apply here and it says it's still deleting so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to check on this EC2 instance looks like it's still shutting down so the nice thing about this if you're if you're new to this kind of technology is that um, we're able now instead of me running the plan and running the applied and all other stuff I can just keep working I can just keep typing I can keep editing code I can go create more files I can go create the next part of my infrastructure or set up my network or go on to a load balancer or an auto scaling group or whatever I'm doing and in the background Terraform is just taking care of everything for me so one of the nice things about Terraform Cloud is it provides that nice user interface for you to be able to do things like this and um, you know in the future we'll talk about you know there's a lot of uh, controls that you need to go in with you know there's change approval boards and you've got branching that you have to worry about and there's tests and no shortage of tests and things like that and, um, but this could also be part of your test where uh, you know I as a developer um, write some code and once I push it to maybe even just my feature branch that my feature branch might have a workspace where it can go come in here and and build and you know you can have Jenkins or something like that run some some tests or even Terraform run some tests and uh, all of that all that can kind of take place in this nice centralized place but like I said I can I don't have to wait for anything I can just keep going and just keep going um, every time I push something you know I might want to commit some things but maybe not push them uh, just so I have them staged but they uh, but I might you know maybe I might not because every every time you change your infrastructure it does take some time right so you don't want to be pushing constantly but so I can see this was deleted this was the ID of the instance that was deleted which is really nice because in AWS it sticks around for a little while is terminated but once it's gone um, you know you really got to dig in for these kinds of logs and things like that so you've got a, a nice little audit trail here and it says it's finished so it's probably going to finish provisioning it says this is running apply is finished cool so if I go back to my overview I can see these are the resources that were built right and I can see this is my output my output update if you look at this address this DNS name is different than my old one so I've got a new DNS name so I can copy that here and paste it in and then uh, wait for the instance health status to be to be green or at least for uh, it to finish you know installing doing a yum update or whatever it is that we're doing um, yeah if doing a yum install you know all that other stuff but and as soon as that's up it should it should work but it takes a little bit of time for it to install so but uh, but yeah that's it so that's just kind of a quick overview down dirty on using the uh, the option here in the settings to switch from a manual apply to an auto apply um, it is worth noting too just as a side note that there is this variable tab and you can add variables in here so if you really wanted to run it from there and you are used to using like a variables file you can declare those in here as well so it does provide kind of like a, a self-service portal for things like that or if somebody updates something uh, you can have that I, I don't I personally don't use this but I mean I guess you could there's environment variables like I use my you know this for keys and stuff like that but that's pretty much it so uh, so yeah that's it here's my updated uh, little piece of HTML here and uh, yeah so if you have any questions let me know but uh, I'm gonna keep moving through the cloud stuff and finish this up so we can start talking about some state things so I hope that was helpful and if, uh, yeah I guess I'll see you in the next one